morning, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to Old First Presbyterian Church members and friends. I want to welcome you and thank you for coming out to praise the Lord's name. I also want to thank you for your attendance as we explore important people of black history. My call to worship is coming comes from Philippians chapter 2, verse 9 through 11. Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the, and under the earth, and every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. If you would now bow your heads for our opening prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, there are so many things to thank you for that is too numerous to count. There are times you protected us from harm, comforted, comforted us in times of sadness, and times you provided someone for us so that we were not alone. Help us realize that we must always say thank you. Without you, we would be empty. It is your mercy, grace, love that fills us. Keep us, Lord, in your hands and help us to encourage others of your love so that they may experience your love, mercy, and your grace. These things we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Now we will have our opening praise and worship by Andrew Darling and Mario Johnson. We serve a good God. Yes. I don't think I hear it. We serve a good God. Yes. Am I the only one who thinks that? Yes. Oh. He's Amen. a wonder. He's a wonder. He's a wonder. How many of you, you know that you can put your trust in God? Amen. I don't know if not enough people know that. How many know that you can put your trust in God? Amen. So when things are not certain, you can trust Him. When things are certain, it may not even be certain, but you can still trust Him. God is a good God. So I want to encourage you this morning to put your trust in him. Some put their trust in horses. Some put their trust in chairs. But we put our trust in the name of the Lord our God. Amen? Amen. 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 Amen.
sickness to go away. You want the anxiety to go away. You can put your trust in Him. So what I want you to do in faith, I want you to step out and say, So long.
including this Black History Month. Um, and I just want to take an opportunity now to say thank you to them, and that I'm looking forward to whatever way they want to use me going forward for all the other Christian education events that they have planned to bring your way. Amen. Today is the end of Black History Month, and we hope that you've enjoyed both the Black History music and the Black History moments that they brought to you. We're going to conclude it with our youth historians who are going to come to you today, knowing that at the end of Black History Month kicks off Women's History Month. So they want to end Black History with a very strong Black History woman, Beyonce Giselle Knowles Carter. And they're going to come from her album Lemonade, which continues to be a long-standing engagement in black Southern regionalism. The video album writes black women back into national, regional, and diasporic histories by making them the progenitors and, and the rightful inheritors of the Southern Gothic tradition. Beyonce accounts for the method behind black women's alchemy. Traversing genre and space, she fundamentally transforms the Southern platitude about what one should do when life hands you lemons. So through the metaphor of lemonade, the South's other cold, dark drink tea, antithesis, and sometimes nemesis, but perhaps its best collaborator, Beyonce insists on alternative forms of inner magic that demand emotional disclosure for healing, wholeness, and a freer kind of freedom. So today we take you all the way this month from slavery to freedom.
Oh